According to testimony Elon Musk provided on his third day of questioning in a San Francisco federal court, he lacked precise pledges from possible backers but anticipated strong financial support when he announced that he would take Tesla private in 2018, by claiming to have funding secured to take Tesla private in a tweet on August 7, 2018. Musk is accused of misleading investors by inflating the price of Tesla stock. The purpose of the trial is to determine whether the second richest person on earth can be held accountable for his usage of Twitter. Millions of dollars are on the line for stockholders who assert they lost money after Musk tweeted that the deal had investor support confirmed. Following Musk's tweets, Tesla's stock price rose, but then dropped when it became evident that the purchase would not go through. On Tuesday, Musk told the jury that he had access to a variety of funding options to take Tesla private, including his own fortune, the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Saudi Arabia, and current investors like Oracle Corp. Co-founder Larry Ellison, funding was in no way a problem, according to Musk. Quite the reverse, in fact, Musk conceded he did not have legally binding contracts with investors, so the jury will have to decide if he intentionally misled shareholders, whether the Tesla CEO artificially inflated the company's share price by praising the buyout's prospects will be decided by a nine-person jury, in response to inquiries from his attorney Alex Spiro. Musk stated that the purpose of his tweet was to inform investors of his desire to take Tesla private. Musk claimed that he had already addressed his interest with the Tesla board and the National Wealth Fund of Saudi Arabia and that he was concerned that word would get out to the media, I didn't intend any harm, he claimed. My goal in this situation was to act ethically for shareholders. A Reuters request for comment was not immediately answered by the Saudi fund, Musk said the jury that after hearing shareholder comments, he decided against considering taking the firm private. After speaking with a number of investors, particularly the smaller ones, Musk stated, I felt it was vital to be receptive to their preferences. They said they would prefer a Tesla that remained public. In the days following the tweet, Goldman Sachs, which was collaborating with Musk on the potential deal, said there would be more than enough financing to take the business private. The jury saw notes and documents from a board meeting. An inquiry for comment from Goldman Sachs did not immediately receive a response. Nicholas Porritt, a lawyer for the investors, questioned Musk, and Musk said that he had no legally binding finance commitments from any interested parties. Porritt pressed Musk for yes or no answers on a number of occasions on discussions regarding funding commitments made by the Saudi fund. At one point, the court had to assist with the questioning. The judge inquired, was a precise number discussed? Musk said, not a specific quantity. On Monday, Musk claimed he could have paid for the transaction by selling his stock in SpaceX, the aerospace firm where he now serves as CEO. Before the Saudi fund changed its mind, he added that he thought finance had been promised. In response to the tweet, securities regulators have already reached a $40 million settlement as part of the Securities and Exchange Commission settlement. Musk resigned as chairman of Tesla while continuing to serve as CEO after it became clear that there was insufficient funding to take the company private, denying any wrongdoing. The trial is expected to continue into the next week with expert testimony and testimony from Tesla board members.